What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm currently in Elkhart, Indiana right now for the RV open house where every manufacturer is out here with their brand new 2023 models. And I got this killer mid bunk Montana out here that has a lot of changes. Last year, Montana's model was a 3855 BR. This is now a 3857 BR that has the bonus room with the office desk space and a huge change to the loft and that bonus room. So I am really excited to show you. Let's just get into it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button as I upload new videos almost every single day of the week throughout the entire year and show a lot of never before seen RVs. So hit that subscribe button. And then if you didn't know, I am in a sales position, so I do not get paid by my company or by any manufacturers to make these videos. I do these on my own time in hopes of finding somebody like you that might be interested in purchasing this RV and I would love to be a part of making that experience a memorable one for you. So you can go down to the first link down below in the description if you are interested in purchasing this RV and you can leave me your contact information through that link there so that I can get in touch with you and helping you purchase this RV. That's all I got for y'all, let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tours online. Thanks to my father in law who now works with me, we've been making videos that are 100% in Spanish on his YouTube page. There's links down below in the description of this video to find those, or you can just search RVs con Luis and you will be able to find those pages there. He is also in a sales position, so if you or a family member speak Spanish and would rather work with him, he is also here to help as well in regards to purchasing your RV. And if you or a family member would like to see tours of these RVs in Spanish, you now have have access to those so search RVs Tone Luis go watch his videos there and subscribe to his channel all right y'all this is the brand new 2023 Keystone Montana 3857 BR and you already saw there are some pretty exciting things going on here first we're going to get up by the floor plan layout here and the specs let you take a look at those real quick so you can see on here it's still the same floor plan design that they had from last year. There is just a lot of change going on in this area here, which we'll look at when we go inside. Also a new island design in this one as well. New oven in here and some other exciting stuff. And then you can see your specs all down through here. Plus look at some of the new features on the 2023s. We talk about that new island that they did. You have a 16 gallon gas electric suburban water heater. So 16 gallons, they're going to give you pretty much an unlimited hot water tank there. Um, not truly unlimited, but I mean, 16 gallons is a lot. We've never seen a 16 gallon gas electric water heater before in a Montana. You have the G-rated tires on here, the tire pressure monitoring system built in, road armor suspension, things like that. We'll look at all this stuff as we go around. So one of the big changes up front here is this outdoor kitchen area where this is so cool. I don't even know exactly how this mechanism works right here, but this is something where you can see these different handles here. This is going to allow this to rotate up and down so this can sit at different heights and then you have your griddle here that is going to store up in this area above the shelving here. You do have metal shelf there as well or countertop whatever you want to call it. And then you have this drawer here that pulls out. This is like a prep space. You do have storage down underneath there and then this is like a giant Montana cutting board and that'll close. And then you have this on a few different models out here where you have this 12 volt refrigerator here as well. So we've seen this on some of the toy haulers and a few different models as well. You also have outdoor shower here. So this is nice putting this on the camp side there. So you have a water access spot here, whether you're trying to just rinse off and clean this, you're trying to wash your hands, whatever it may be. Maybe you're, you know, cleaning fish out here on this cutting board. You have a water source there. Open this up, you have your outlets, USB ports, this is your on and off switch for this amber light that is down through here. And then you do have a motion activated light there as well. So that is really cool. This looks like this is all patent pending stuff here. And this is from Keystone. This is Keystone equipment here that they have. Looks like patent pending stuff going on with that. So this is cool how this sets up and you can see it just kind of swings around. I just don't, I haven't played with these levers here to figure out how you kind of fold it back up and in there. Um, but that's something where I know it was stored up in this area when I first saw it. So it swings out like that. That's pretty neat. Really huge storage space down in here. They have this new finish in this here. This is going to be like a really solid, I don't know what the material is, but just really rugged material there. And then you have your central vac system through here. 
aluminum framing throughout and then it's welded on both sides of your frame for all the frame connections throughout here. Um, climate controlled, so heat and AC coming into here to keep it controlled and then you have AC inverter prep. So if you wanted to expand upon the solar system and get an inverter that will run the solar, or sorry, that will run the AC off of the solar and battery system, you have prep for that already. And then we're gonna go through to the front. You're gonna have 30 pound propane bottle here. Going to the front cap, it is a full fiberglass front cap. This is a full profile fifth wheel. Um, it always cracks me up when people ask like, oh, is that like four seasons rated or rated for full-time living? But then I have to remember like where I came from and when I first started in this industry, I had no idea what was what. So yes, a Montana is definitely rated for full-time living. Um, it actually comes with a full-time living warranty as well and it's full-time living backed. And Montana has been the number one selling luxury fifth wheel in America for over 20 years in a row. So no one really sells more than a Montana and Montana is gonna have everything that you need to live in full-time. Road Armor pin box up front, this is going to pivot back and forth, has your rubber bushing there that's going to absorb a lot of your chucking as you go up and down the road, so as you brake and accelerate, this will absorb a lot of that shock there. LED light to shine down in this area if you're trying to set up your hitch at night, and then you have your hitch vision plate here, which will allow you to see how your bed is lining up with the pin box as you back your truck up to it if you're doing it by yourself. Down underneath here, you now have slam latch doors going to these compartments here. In here, you do have your battery disconnect and your 200 amp hour lithium batteries that are now coming standard on every Keystone RV. And then if you did order one with generator prep, that's where the generator prep would be in this compartment here. Still problems with getting generators and the only way to get a Montana right now a generator prep is to custom order one that way, which will take typically about two to four months to come in. You have direct access to your battery compartment here as well, where, and then you can see motion activated lights in there. And that's where your Dragonfly lithium batteries are. Have that light there. Along this side, you have your auto leveling controls, another propane bottle here, and then down underneath here, we are gonna get this opened up so we can look at your solar controls. Pretty much every Montana we get are going to have a 400 watt solar system. So that is going to have the 300 watt, or not, what am I talking about? <laughs> the 300 amp, Whoa, I'm still messing up. Jeez Louise, I've filmed like probably over 20 to 30 RVs out here. So my brain is just a bunch of mush right now. But you have your 30 amp solar charge controller with a 400 watt solar system, which is actually coming with 440 watts of solar because it's two 220 watt amps. And you do have this solar panel disconnect switch here. So you can kill the power from the solar panels going to the battery if needed. Also have prep to add on another solar charge controller because if you are wanting to expand upon the solar system, which is something that Keystone makes it very easy to do with all the prep in here, even up on the roof, you can see your solar panel there. You have on the roof, you have a port where the solar panels are plugged into. I would normally go up and show this, but these RVs are parked too close together to get on the roof. But on a Montana, you have, and on any Keystone RV actually, you have the port that those solar panels are plugged into, but you have another port already wired into the roof to add more solar to that area. So you can add more solar to the roof. And Montana is the only Keystone product that you can order with the 1200i solar package that will run supposedly the whole rig off of solar. So that is an option you can get as well. Just keep in mind that 1200i solar system runs about 19 to $20,000 or so. So something that this Montana can be ordered with if you wanna do that. And then all your water connections down in through here your suburban 16 gallon gas electric water heater will be there as well. And then you have your nice big tall slide out box here that will allow for some of the changes that we see in the mid bunk area. Your vent coming out from the kitchen to vent out any smells when you're cooking. And as we come around the back here, you have your spot for a backup camera, um, frameless windows all throughout here as well brake and reverse lights here and you do have a 3,000 pound towing hitch with the plug for lights for a trailer if you wanted to tow something off the back of here. So that's pretty much everything on the outside. Now keep in mind I do want to point out this is a standard Montana exterior package with um, your, their standard graphics and decals for 2023. Montana does also have full body paint options. This is just one of their three full body paint options that they have. They have Shadow, Cobalt, and Sterling. So this here is going to be the shadow exterior that you can get in full body paint. And then this is your standard graphics and decals. So it has to be ordered to get this full body paint unless you're lucky and find one where a dealership ordered it that way and they happen to have one in stock and available. 
Let's look underneath the rig real quick. You do have the drop frame construction here. So they drop that frame there to give you the room for all this outside storage and outdoor kitchen. And then you have the tire pressure monitoring system built into the wheels of your wheels here. So, so they're not just the valve stems, the tire pressure monitoring, monitoring systems are actually wrapped around the inside of the wheel there. And they do that even on the spare tire on a Montana. So I don't know another brand that's doing it on the spare tire as well. You have the road armor suspension underneath here. So that is going to give you six inches of travel, three inches up and three inches down. There should be a little display on the screen too, hopefully as long as I remember showing you how much more efficient that system is at mitigating the rattling as you're going up and down the road. And one of the best suspension systems you can get coming out of a factory. And let's come back over here, get down underneath here where you'll see your enclosed and wrapped underbelly. So all your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in this enclosed underbelly there. So anytime your furnace is on, you're gonna have heat going to that same cavity that is going to keep your water tanks and water lines warm. And you also have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks as well that you can flip on to keep them warm if you're transporting the RV and have water in the tanks and aren't gonna be running your furnace. Hydraulic slide out on your slide boxes here. So you do have the hydraulic rack and pinion style slide out there on your bigger slides. And then your smaller slides are going to have the Schwintech slide mechanism that is on the other side of the rig. So that's everything on the outside. Let's go ahead and head inside. And you're gonna see real quickly how beautiful this thing is. Again, it is the 3857 BR. Right away, the first thing I noticed when I walked in here was that new island. That new island looks so nice. I also have new light fixtures in here that look really nice. Just a really, really beautiful looking Montana fifth wheel here. And what is so nice about the mid bunk models is you have all this seating space where you have your dinette table, your recliners, and your three cushion sofa back here that makes out into about a king size bed. And you have the mid bunk there in the middle. So you get all that seating with a two bedroom setup. Now, I don't know why, I just do not like this color here. So we're gonna change that. Let's go to purple. Purple is definitely my favorite color when it comes to what they have in those fireplaces. And so really nice layout in here. You have your ceiling fan up here, nice black ceiling fan. And then Montana does like a custom ceiling panel here. So it has a different color and design in there than your standard RV ceiling panel. A really nice elegant looking lighting up through here with the LED lights. Plus you have the LED lights that run all through the crown molding all the way up to the bedroom. So you have crown molding in this rig. Montana pays so much attention and puts so much time into giving you an elegant look and finish in their models. Even things like the black AC vents that you just don't see in other models. Do a lot of different things like that. Okay, so let's kind of walk through different things. First of all, you have your um, Dynaspan flooring. So that's gonna be a single piece subflooring down underneath here that is all one piece, no seams in the subflooring or anything like that. And it is marine grade. So that is going to mean that if you're walking around and throughout the lifespan of owning your RV, there's not gonna be any seams where things like squeak or anything like that as you're walking across the floor. And this flooring here does come with a 25 year warranty and supposedly Keystone has never had a warranty claim on that Dynaspan flooring that they use there. So that's a big deal. You also have no carpet in the slide in the Montana. This is like a woven plastic kind of material, very flexible, very rigid as well. And then in the slide out box, you lift this up and you have an astrofoil layer of insulation. So this actually has the air pockets in it as well and a wrapped subflooring underneath here. You do this on pretty much any brand out there and you're just gonna see exposed wood underneath here that's not wrapped in a lot of times no insulation in that flooring as well. So you get a wrap floor, multiple layers of protection for that subflooring underneath there in a Montana and that's kind of across the board with Keystone as well. Dinette table with two really premium looking seats and then it has two additional folding seats that are stored under the bed. This table is mounted to the side wall. So if you wanted to remove this table, you would just have to unscrew it from the wall there and you could easily take that out and make this really whatever you want. It does flip up and has a little bit of storage underneath there, arms that come out to support the leaf that flips out from the end so you can make the table longer. And then you have all your big campsite windows and then on the 2023 Montanas, day and night shades on all your windows. Plus you have balances that go all the way down the window. So what that means, when you pull down this nightshade, it is going to prevent any excess light from coming through the sides of that shade there. Little touches like that that are, you know, a lot of times things 
people don't know this because there's a lot of brands at the same price point that may not have balances that go all the way down the window like it does in this Montana. As you go here to these recliners, these are pretty cool. First of all, show you how it reclines. They're electric recliners, so these will lay all the way flat, and then they have a couple different features on them as well that I'm going to show you. But as we extend that back, you can see how far back that goes. Definitely getting you nice and comfy there directly across from your TV. And you actually have independent adjustment of your head and backrest. So that headrest is coming up there. Hopefully you can tell that on camera and then you can make it go back down. So if you need your head elevated up or down, you have that support. And then same with the backrest, the backrest actually comes up as well. Very hard to see it on camera but this actually goes up and down to support your back. And then you have this central home position, which is just gonna send everything back to its original position, just like that. USB ports in this area as well, so you can charge your phone, and then you do have this middle console. And this Montana is currently showing the bourbon interior package. So you have this really dark brown sofa here, pretty dark sofa, and then you have all the gray cabinetry in this bourbon interior. Montana also has a cottage white interior that's going to give you a similar but slightly different sofa color. And then you have white cabinetry all through here with like the rustic white. And then they also have the cobblestone interior package, which is going to give you the same cabinetry color with more of a cream colored sofa or like, you know, kind of a stone colored sofa maybe. Coming back this way, you do have the um, three cushion sofa. What I love about this is it's about six feet long, so you can actually lay out on it and watch the TV there if that's something that you wanna do. You have table side space on both sides of the sofa as well. And then you have outlets, USB ports, and your light switches back there. Storage all up through here. You can see it's unobstructed all the way throughout and these are glass doors. Have your lights up above there. Again, day and night shades on all these windows. And then that brings us to your TV over here where you have the Kinect Smart TV. It is a 4K Smart TV. They finally got a Smart TV in here for you. 50 inch screen TV. I don't know why they were so behind the times on getting a Smart TV in a lot of these Keystone RVs. But finally got you a Smart TV. You got the JBL subwoofer in here and you have your three tier shelf system back there behind the TV as well. So you have that storage, the subwoofer back there. The subwoofer does have its own independent gain control, so you can adjust that independently. And your JBL sound system also has a mid-range and a tweeter speaker, so you are getting independent speakers for all different levels of sound that you get, or frequencies of sound. It's a more technical term. Sorry, I used to be in the audio world, so I know about sound pretty well, but you basically have a pretty good sound system in here compared to other RVs is what I'm getting at. This here is your JBL sound system. You have multiple different zones here. Um, and actually there is even a zone for in the bathroom because there is a speaker in the bathroom. So you can do some shower karaoke in there. Fireplace in there, multiple different colors is putting out heat right now. Actually, it's about 45 degrees out here, maybe 50 degrees. So this fireplace is actually doing a great job keeping me warm inside here. The fireplace right now is the only heat element on in here. And it's literally probably feels like a 15 degree difference from going outside to in here, mostly just because of this fireplace. So definitely doing a good job keeping it warm in here. And this is really the application I tell people when they're gonna use it most is on mornings like this when it's 50, 60 degrees outside, just turn that on and that's all you need. That way you don't have to run your furnace. Up above here, you have your storage above the TV. You have your pantry all through here. Nice that they gave you a designated pantry and then Montana's is all solid hardwood. So all your woodwork, all your woodwork through here is all stained solid hardwood. Nothing is wrapped on any of your woodwork in here as well. So very high quality. Really nice new light fixtures in here. I like those. You let me know what your comments are and what you think of the light fixtures. A lot of these things, you know, I comment on what I like, don't like, but I really want to know your thoughts too on what you like and don't like. So let me know down below in the comments and then all your LED lighting up through there. Now this island, really, really cool. First of all, you have like kind of a more rounded lip there to the um, countertop, and then you have your LED lighting as we're used to, but you have this kind of curved design here with your shelving on the sides, outlets on the sides as well. Looks really, really nice, much improved from last year's island kitchen. And then you have your storage here in the island. This will have a pull-out drawer there, soft closed drawers, 
Again, all solid hardwood all the way down through there even. Soft close on that. Stainless steel sink. It does come with these solid surface sink covers as well, which are probably, yep, right down underneath there. And then you have your storage down through here. Now for 2023, the Montanas have gone to this Furion three burner stove. So this is the only thing that I know is gonna be a little point of criticism where they don't have the Insignia four burner stove. Now I still think that this looks really nice here. I am not mad at this at all. I have never in my life used four burners at the same time. So I don't know if it's the stove aspect or the oven aspect that people are most, you know, excited about with the Insignia four burner stove that's in some RVs. But when you open this oven up, it actually has a three rack system here. So you have lots of space down in here and it looks like your heating element is down underneath there. So it's still plenty of room to do something like a turkey or a pizza or anything like that in here. And then it does give you some more storage space down underneath where you do have that there as well with the tire pressure monitoring system there. And storage right next to the oven, shelving storage, you have outlets that pop up plus it has usb ports and a usb c plug in there and this is an inverted outlet so that'll run off that 400 watt solar system storage here right next to the microwave turn that light on and then they did get rid of the spice rack for 2023 so you just have open storage in there then next to that you have the ge refrigerator um, really the only thing i want to show in this is you have the water dispenser in here so that's the one thing to highlight in there it's a residential size refrigerator going to be about 18 cubic feet. And then this opens up, you do have the ice tray down in here too. So it does give you an ice maker and you have your freezer portion. All right, now here's where things get really, really exciting. I'm actually going to start with the loft first, because as we go up into this space with your loft, it is cut off. So you can see this sleeps a single person here, or it's just a great place for storage. You have shelving back here, outlets, and a privacy curtain that goes across. But the reason they did this is now you have your AC vent there, and this is going to allow just any cold air going anywhere through this part of the RV to get down into that part of the RV. So before this, you had any AC vents had to be sent through the ceiling. I don't even know how they engineered it to get through the loft down into the mid bunk area. So this is going to significantly improve the cooling going to the mid bunk area. And then when you come in here, you have sliding pocket doors that magnetize to latch together. And you have a taller slide out box now in this mid bunk room, which gives you a flip up bunk here. So you have the flip up bunk, another window up above there with the curtains. This does flip up and latch in place right there. So you can have a nice big seating space here. This can also be taken out completely. And it also, it catches about right there. So it does have to be latched. But if you want to take this out completely, you do still have that option. You can just take those brackets off there. And then you have your sofa here that will pull out to a bed. That'll make into a full size bed if you want to make that into a sleeping arrangement. Again, balances around all the windows in here. And then USB ports through there as well, or um, right here on the wall. You have an outlet here, and then you have a nice big desk space in here definitely great for an office and now you have just so much more height above you it doesn't feel anywhere near as claustrophobic before in this model the ceiling height was right about here which is maybe like six four now you have a full height here it makes it much more comfortable storage all up above through this area and then some shelving to your right spot for a tv on the wall if you want a tv you have your outlets here and then um, that's a little latch to hold your chair in place when you're going down the road. Definitely equipped to be like an office space. You have that pull out drawer and then you have this big, almost like filing cabinet size drawer there. All soft clothes on those as well. So really, really nice office space. This desk here is, gosh, probably about four feet long or so. Um, so it could probably fit a couple monitors on there depending the size of the monitors or fit like a 50 inch screen TV on this wall. And so this is your new mid bunk in the 3857 BR. So let me know your thoughts about this. I'm really excited about this. and really excited to hear what y'all think about this mid bunk setup. As we go up to the bedroom, first of all, you're going to have coat closet here and all of your controls right here. It does have the battery heat now. So with the lithium batteries, you're not supposed to charge those below freezing temperatures. So you can flip that heat onto the battery if you are 
anywhere close to freezing or below freezing temperatures there and charging the batteries. And then you have your flip up dust pan there. So that will suck all your dust, pet hair, dirt, whatever into the step as part of the central vac system and a spot for your hose there as well to plug in for your central vac system. Do you have the grab handle going up the steps? Nice big window in this hallway for lots of natural light. Ladder to get up onto the loft. Power for your inverter so you can turn your inverter on and off from inside the RV. You don't have to go outside to turn your inverter on or off. And then you have same bathroom setup as we had in the 2022s with the bowl sink. You have the fiberglass one piece shower there. So residential style shower with the molded in seat. And then they did add a lot more storage in here. So you have a huge storage space all the way back through here. And then you have a spot for a trash can down under there as well. And then this is a motion activated light. So you can see as soon as you open that cabinet, the light comes on. Speaker in the bathroom here. It's a JBL speaker as well. You have the Dometic porcelain foot flush toilet and then your shower height in here. Oh, I also want to point out you have the max air vent fan in here. Um, that is something that you see in a lot of other models not giving you this upgraded better fan throughout the coach um, because you do also, maybe this is the only spot where this fan is at because they do have the third AC on this model, which brings me back to the fact of pointing out you do have the third AC in here as well. That is going to help cool down this space a heck of a lot quicker. Um, so I guess it's just in the bathroom where the vent fan is, but you do have the max air vent fan. Step into the shower and you're going to have an adjustable height shower head here. So this will go up and down. So at its highest point, it's pretty much where I'd like to keep it. Um, your ceiling height to here is going to be about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, maybe. And then you have about another three or four inches in the skylight. So you could be about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six and fit in here. And then this actually sits fully above my head, so I would not have to duck to get under it. And you step out of here, and again, you have the molded in seat there. So you don't have to worry about that seat going anywhere, falling off or anything like that. And then you have your different spots for shelving in the shower. In your bathroom setup, you do have storage through here, and then you do have four pull-out drawers, soft clothes all back through here as well. I keep showing that because sometimes you may see soft clothes in just the kitchen or something like that, but Montana actually does it all the way throughout the entire rig. Medicine cabinet storage, spot for um, washcloths and things like that. And then you have your bowl sink here. And then controls for your vent fan here and outlet. Now going to the bedroom, a couple different things to point out. First of all, you have a new bed spread for 2023 with a new pillow package that it comes with. You do have the nightstands over the windows again with the same night lights that we had in 2022 where they have that halo light for like an ambient light and the direct light. Definitely still the best overhead lighting package I've seen in an RV. One thing nice about the Montanas is not only do they put a TV in the bedroom, but they actually frame the TV out to give it this more finished look to it here. Have your light switch for the bedroom right up here. And then this is another smart TV here that is 4K as well. So Actually, is it 4K? It doesn't say 4K on it, so maybe I shouldn't say that because I could be wrong, but it's a full color TV. Y'all, can you believe that? You have a full color TV in 2023. Isn't that amazing? But anyways, <laughs> you have a smart TV back here. You have your shelving space there and you have your drawers that pull out. King size bed, and this will flip up. You have your storage underneath here. You can see you have your central vac hose. And then look at this, y'all. This is a flat power cord from Furion. So this power cord here is actually flat instead of being rounded. So that's interesting. I don't know if this is just what they're gonna be coming with now, but I've seen this in almost every RV out here. So I don't know if they're just showing them or if this is what they're coming with, but that's kind of interesting too, seeing those flat power cords. Should be a little bit more lightweight and make people's lives a little bit easier. Of course you have washer dryer prep in a Montana. So you open this door, washer dryer prep is in here and you can do a stackable washer and dryer. And then you have your wardrobe closet to the left here with your shelving space down below and your hamper that you have built in. Now you have outlets on this wall right here because there are no outlets down underneath this area. So if you need to put anything on this side of the bed, it can all go on this shelving here. Um, you could kind of pull that door and leave that door open and have that space where you can take that latch off. You can have stuff plugged in right there and maybe set on that shelf or whatever it may be, 
or obviously you could have it plugged in here as well. But I like that they put the plug in there in case you wanna put anything else in this area to have access to pretty quickly from the bed. And then on this side, you do have an outlet down underneath here as well. With your AC system, you do still have the residential filters in the AC system. So this is a MERV 9 grade residential air filter. Um, not only gonna keep your air cleaner, but also keep your ducting in your RV cleaner. And that is going to be something you can just go to Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, whatever to replace as well. So love that. And then you have, again, the blade AC vents here that are gonna push air out in a 360 degree motion. Love that everything's black, gives it a nice clean finish here. And everything just looks really nice. You have a new door color too for 2023. So these sliding pocket doors are a little different color and also look very elegant as well. And then that is pretty much everything y'all. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this new loft design here and that mid bunk. I mean, just so cool that you can look down into that space there. I just think too, like having maybe you have multiple kids. I mean, it would be really cool to, as a kid, just thinking back, I mean, being able to have someone up here and then two other people down in there. I mean, going to sleep like that, you still feel like you're connected to those other people and you're not closed off from them. So that's kind of neat. But that is everything, y'all. Let me know what your thoughts are on this Montana. Definitely curious to hear from y'all. And that's all I got for you. All right, y'all, that's all I got. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. So I can help you out in assisting you with finding your next RV and purchasing your next RV and giving you an enjoyable experience with that and would love to help out with that. So if you are interested, go down to the link down below in the description of this video where you can find my RV inquiry form if you are interested in an RV and leave me your contact information, select the Mesquite location, and it will go directly into my inbox, and I will get in touch with you as soon as I can. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.